In this video, I will show you how to model a low poly car using modifiers. To model a low poly car, I can scale this cube in X, Y and Z direction. In edit mode, I can use the loop cut tool to create two cuts. Next, I extrude the face on top and scale it down. Now I have a basic shape of a car. There is another way to model this car by using modifiers. Modifiers are operations that affect the geometry of an object, but it doesn't change the geometry itself. With modifiers you can perform many effects easily. In object mode, start with a cube and we cut this cube in half. Go to edit mode and use the loop cut tool to cut the cube. Remove half of the cube. In object mode, we use the mirror modifier to add the other half of the cube. Go to the modifier tab on the right and add a mirror modifier. We can mirror along the x, y or z axis. In my case, I need to mirror along the y axis. Mirror modifier mirrors a mesh along its x, y or z axis, so if I change something on one side, it will be mirrored on the other side. So let's model the car. Scale in x, y or z direction. In edit mode, I create two cuts using the loop cut tool and extrude the upper face. You can see that I'm modeling one side and the changes are applied to the other side. Next I create another cut for the front and back windows and model the roof of the car. To model the windows, select the faces for the window. Now I use a tool called Inset Faces to create a small inset. In the Inset Tool menu, select Individual. Make the thickness very small, for example 0.02. Then I use Face Extrude Faces Along Normals and move the mouse a little bit. With this I can create a more precise extrude. Don't move the mouse too much, because it's very precise. Let's add some tires. For the tires I'll use a cylinder. In object mode, add a cylinder. In the Add Cylinder menu, change the vertices to for example 10. With less vertices, we get the low poly look. Move, rotate and scale the cylinder to create the size of a tire. In edit mode, use the inset tool to create an inset. Use extrude and push the faces back using E, Y. In object mode, duplicate the cylinder and create the other tire. Duplicate both tires and move them to the other side. Rotate the tires 180 degrees. Turn 
To create a nice gaping hole around the tire, we will use a boolean modifier. Select the car and go to the modifier tab. Add a boolean modifier. The boolean modifier uses a boolean operation. To create a nice round hole, we want the difference between the car and the tire. So select as object a tire. Now you can see that a nice round hole is created around the tire. Let's do the same for the other tires. Add a boolean modifier, select difference and select a tire as object. Let's add some light. Add a cylinder. Move, scale and rotate the cylinder to create a car light. Use the inset tool and extrude in X direction with EX. In object mode, duplicate the car light. Use the boolean modifier to create a gaping hole around the car light. Don't forget to apply your modifiers. Give your car a color and add some doorknobs.